kill the dang plants. Okay, so basically you'll know you find a neighbor when you find their house. For example, this is Daisy's house. Oh, look, it's Daisy. Daisy's... A I thought Daisy was a princess. Aye! Hey, don't sneak up on me like that. Bow wow! Don't you think it's rather rude to frighten a girl you don't even know? Bow wow! You really startled me. But I think I'm okay now. I'm Daisy. Hi, I'm Daisy! In the evening, please say hello to me every me very quietly. Bow wow! That's one of the voices. Jesus. Yes, do you need something? Wow! Don't be rude. Tell me your name before asking for mine. I see. Kelvin, huh? I'm Kitty. I'll see you. Oh, oh yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why am I so weird? Oh, uh, there's another house over here. I'm. Uh, luckily, I looked on the map, so I kind of know generally where the houses are. Oh, another dog! This is Bones. Hmm? Never seen you before, huh? But you don't seem like a bad person, so I guess I'll introduce myself. I'm Bones. It's... It's... It's nice to meet you! Can we be friends? I get so nervous talking to new folk. Yep, yep. He scares me. He scares me so much. Oh, basketball! So good at basketball back in the day. Anyway. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to find the ridge so you can come down the ridge. And now that we're down... Wow, there's so many trees here. Holy crap. I'm going to clear out these trees someday. Oh, look at the fish. There's a fish. I scared him. There's going to be a... There we go. I was looking for this. Now I know there's going to be a wishing well around here. Somewhere. Oh, it's going to be down one. Here it is. Here's the wishing well. Hey, what? Who are you? You whippersnapper, tell me something. Who do you expect the most? My dad. Mm, youth. I wait for the younger generation. It pains this old heart. Listen to me, Sprout. What's your name? Kelvin, eh? I see. Human, aren't you? My name's Tort Timer, and I'm the mayor here in Zimbabwe. Yep, pretty important job. You seem like a good kid. Listen, whenever there's a holiday or some kind of event, come talk to me. I'm sure to have some interesting stuff to pass on. Yep, -er, I sure will. <laughs> anyway, I think the last person we have to meet. This is a museum, by the way. Oh, yeah, Torn Timer. I completely forgot. Torn Timer is a cl uh, clown. Yeah, he's a clown. No, he's a turtle. He's a turtle. Mr. Turtle! I don't know why I decided to make that reference. By the way, this is Blathers. Who? Hmm. Zwak! What, what time is it? I'm so very sleepy. Oh dear me, a thousand pardons. So terribly sorry. I'm afraid I'm a bit of a night um, owl, yes. Yes, well, by the by, might there be something with which I can assist you? Uh, no, I just wanted to meet you. Um, he is an owl. He is the curator of this museum. Uh, I just thought I would like to point that out. Uh, stats in the corner. Because, you know, I'm I want to make this Let's Play the most informative Let's Play ever. Because I really think that not enough people have played Animal Crossing to really see the true action-packed nature of this game. Wow, this is actually the first time I've had a a ridge that went like that. That's really cool. Anyway, so, um, we have to go visit Peanut, who decided to live in, like, the most desolate corner of town. Look at this. I have to come all the Oh, I'm on the wrong side of the river. No, wait. No, I'm on the right side of the river. I don't know. Time to find out. I think he was on this side. I have to come all the way down this way. I really hope I'm not down the wrong side of this river, I swear to God. He's over here, I think. I think I did go down the wrong side of the river. Yeah, I did. Oh, we're not. Haha! -ha! This is Peanut! Come on! How long do you expect me to wait, slacker? I've been waiting here all night! Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were someone else. It's so dark out here. I couldn't tell who you were. Although, that might have been because I've never met you before, slacker. Hi, I'm Peanut. Anyway. Now that we've met, I won't mistake you mistake you for anyone else ever again, slacker. I promise. Is that really her thing? 
if you haven't noticed that everyone in this town sort of has a thing. Like, Daisy was, Bow Wow! And every time she'd finish the sentence, she'd say, Bow Wow! Is hers really going to be slacker? Really? Sla like, that is, that's not even, like, cute. This game is supposed to be adorable. What is this? This game sucks. Uh, here's the post office. We can go talk to the person in here. Good day. How can I help you? Uh, I just wanted to talk to you, because this is Pelly. Pelly, the, the male duck. There's also another duck that comes around and picks up all the mail. You know what? I'm going to make a song, just for you guys. Yeah, so every time you talk to someone in the game, it sounds awesome. I've actually seen people, um, like, learn how to do, like, certain songs. Like, I've seen, like, the Mega Man theme and stuff. Oh, which reminds me, I'm actually not going to be doing Mega Man anymore. I thought that was just the worst Let's Play ever. Like, nobody was enjoying it. I was doing so good at the game that, like, it wasn't even fun to watch. So I just thought I would stop doing the Let's Play. I'm sorry. Huh? You say you've met everyone in town? Hmm? Well, aren't you the social butterfly? Whoa! Perhaps, though, you were not quite thorough. Somehow, I think you may have missed somebody. Oh, no! I missed somebody. Somebody. I missed them. Who could it have been? Who could it have been? Let me check the town map. Oh, I missed ro Hey, good evening. Say, we've never met before, have we? Well then, let me introduce myself. I don't know how to pronounce my own name. Rolled. Is it rolled? Post a comment. How do you pronounce that? If you forget who I am, just remember that I'm the one who says b b buddy a lot. b b buddy It's a bad habit, I know, but sometimes I just can't help myself. I hope it doesn't bother you, b b buddy He's a penguin. Anyway. Blink's gonna be really mad. Anyway, if you come over here, you will come to the Able Sisters. This is Mabel. Hi there, come on in. Welcome to Able Sisters. These are, um, hedgehog, hedgehogs, I believe. Um, yeah, they are, uh, fabric people. Just thought I would, uh, give them, the, give, um, you their stats. And they're an awesome thing. And I know there's a little bit of empty space, but when I was making the Let's Play, I couldn't, um, I couldn't think of anything else to put in there, so I, I thought I would just throw it on there because I'm, I'm cool that way. So, yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to meet you guys back at Tom Nook. By the way, here's the dump. Anyway, so we're over here with Tom Nook. And Nook's cranny. And he goes, huh? You say you've met everyone in town. Hmm? Well, aren't you the social butterfly? Whoa, ho, ho, ho. Perhaps... What? I disagree. I disagree. What am I missing? Talk to both of you. Talk to Bones. Talk to Peanut. Talk to Roald. Wart Jr. Weenie Hut Juniors. Where's your house? Where is it? Where is it? Where is... Where is it? It's over here. What is... The, what? Isn't it a little late for you to be running around home? You should be home. Enjoying a nice, quiet evening. Oops. I didn't mean to stick my nose in your business. My mistake. Ribbit. I always do that. I have to uh, say something rude to someone. I only just met. Ribbit. Pretend it never happened. Maybe we can still be friends, girl. I bet nobody heard his voice either because it's so deep that the microphone might not even pick it up. 
Anyway, I'm running back here. So, did you meet everyone in town? Quite a motley, not motley crew. Because they're, well, I don't even like them that much. But variety is the spice of life, you know. If you don't get along well with the folks here in Zimboe, you'll never fit in, you understand? But never fear, I have a good feeling about you. Hmm, now then, what shall I have you do next? Ah, yes, I should. I need you to deliver some furniture, hmm? At last, it's like you're actually working in the shop. Take this furniture to Kitty in Acre B2, yes? And don't stop to sniff the roses on the way. Go straight there and then come back, okay? I don't know why he got a British accent all of a sudden, and I don't know when my British accent became terrible. This is Daisy's house. It said B2, which is right here. My, I didn't expect you again. Hello there. Wow. Enough idle chit-chat. Let's have sex. Did you need something for me now? Yeah, I'm here to collect the tax return. Why, that's mine. Why do you have it, Calvin? Are you working for Tom Nook or something? Oh, you are? How amusing. You mean to tell me you didn't have enough money to buy a house when you moved? Tee hee 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 hee. Well, how silly, Morrow. Were you mental runter? Were you the mental runt of the litter or what? Oh, I'm just having a little fun with you. I suppose everyone has to take a bold step once in their lives. So, you must not have any money to buy furniture. Don't be ashamed. Here, take this writing desk. You simply must take it. I bet you go home to a sad little empty house every day, don't you? May not be much, but beggars can't be choosers. You've got to start somewhere. Interior decorating is vital. Besides, this has to improve your place a little bit. Put it in your house. Face it. And hold the A button. Then you can push it, pull it around, and even rotate it until you find a spot where it looks good. Easy as pie. If you have any culture whatsoever, you'll realize that decorating your house can be rather fun. So take this writing desk home and try the thing out. You shan't be sorry. And by the by, you can face a dresser, you can face a dresser, a radio, or whatever, and press the A button to interact with it. Now remember now, don't skip work to play around in your room. You've got a job to do. Why is she coming? The sun has set, hasn't it? Wow, wow! So tell me, Kelvin, what did you want? Wow, wow! I'm sorry. Oh, all right. Bow wow. Anyway, so here's my house. I'm just gonna go to my house. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put my new piece of furniture in because I'm so cool. I'm so cool. This is my writing desk. You go push it into place because I'm so freaking cool. Now I can do let's plays on my desk. And I'm not kidding. That's how I felt when I got my desk in my room and I was setting up everything. Anyway, heading off. Welcome back, worker bee. It looks like you delivered the furniture. Nice work. You did a good job. So I figure that earns you, oh, say 230 bells. Not bad wages. Hmm. Now, on to your next task. Hmm, what's that? You say it's too difficult to try to find things without a map? Honestly, kids these days and their constant complaints. Why, when I was a little raccoon, I... No, never mind. Okay, okay. Here's a map. Press the X button to look at it. It should serve your needs just fine. Hmm? Your next job is to write some copy for a direct to write some copy for a direct mailing, you know? Sort of a personal advertisement. I want you to send it to Wart Jr. He lives in Acre somewhere in Roby. It's just good business. Wart Jr. is a very loyal customer. So this is a notice of a special sale. As for what you write, well, I'll just Leave it up to you, Kelvin. But try to make it interesting. Oh, you might want to think about introducing yourself as Kelvin. Who works for me? Yeah. You can use this stationery to write the letter. Go to the post office to mail the letter, yes? You'll find the post office in Acre A5. Now, hurry back. Hmm? 